So what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, to another video. Today, today I wanna briefly go over a few quick ways to develop your own like, body weight routine, which you can do at home to maintain your strength, continue building muscle, especially in light of, um, you know, this coronavirus outbreak and the closing a lot of gyms. People are still um, wondering how to, you know, maintain their strength like, while at home and continue training that they don't lose progress and then also I think there's gonna be a new wave of people who are more health conscious who are looking toward um, you know getting into like home workouts and fitness like now so as I mentioned before goal of Legion is really motivating and teaching individuals to improve physically in order to help them reach their full physical potential so that's really what this channel is all about that being said, uh, let's break down what today's video is going to be. So first off, I'm going to go through a quick in introduction of what body weight training is. Body weight training is going to be using your own body weight for resistance. And this is going to require either minimal to no equipment, and it's going to be hitting every part of your body throughout each workout. And then part of the definition that isn't official is using supersets to really um, hit a opposing muscle groups. And this is just gonna save you time as you do your body weight workout. I'm gonna give you guys three quick workouts, which you can do, you know, three, three days per week, just kind of space them out. So either Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, however you wanna do it, in addition to your daily quotas. So as you can see on that first one though, you already have push-ups, so you can kind of take push-ups out of your workout. My workout has two different portions. <coughs> One of which is the daily portion, daily considered like five days per week. So that's going to be a quota of 50 push-ups and then 100 um, air squats per day in addition to the regular workouts. But depending on the workouts, uh, may or may not include them. Workout one, as you can already see, it's just going to be heavily supersetted. So supersetting uh, push-ups with pull-ups, right? And then I'm kind of abusing notation a little bit on the right side but the comma is gonna separate the first and the second workout. So for example, that Russian twist with calf raises <laughs> is gonna be two sets. And then each set of Russian twists is gonna be 10 reps and each set of calf raises is gonna be 50. And obviously in terms of intensity for all these, um, when you add weight to any of them, add weight to your pull-ups or putting like weight on your back for the push-ups, it's obviously gonna, obviously gonna make it a little bit harder. But these like rep numbers are just estimates. You don't actually have to do those. Yeah, workout two, it's going to be very similar. So, yeah, if you look through workout three, it's just going to be about the same thing. Feel free to screenshot these um, anytime. And then in the next part of this video, I'm going to go be going over the form of some of these, which you probably may not have seen before. So, yeah, first workout, pretty basic. We have some dumbbell shoulder fly. Um, as you can see from the side view, I do keep my elbow bent as I do this exercise. You're really targeting that medial portion of your shoulder. All right, moving on, we have a nice handstand push-up. So to get into the push-up position, just kick up against the wall, and then you're gonna come down until your head um, just like barely touches the ground a little bit, push back up. These should be very difficult. That was included in, I believe, workout, workout one. So just do your best on those. If you can't do them, Try doing something more like this. As you can see, I'm walking a little bit away from the wall just to make it a little easier on myself. Um, this is not easy by any means though. So feel free to modify this however you want to, to make it easier. So next part's pretty basic, just some pull-ups. I have an entire video on how to do pull-ups properly because I won't go into it here, but basically you want to keep your body um, you know, nice and cohesive as like one unit and only use your legs to get up to the top chin over the top of the bar and minimizing the swing of your body. But that's all covered in a video that I've done. Chin ups, it's gonna be pretty much the same thing. You're gonna turn your grip facing towards you. It's gonna activate your biceps a little more when you do the movement, but otherwise very similar. Push ups, you guys obviously know how to do push ups, but if you do wanna check your form, I have a video specifically on that, which I'll link in so you guys can check that out. Decline push ups, uh, this time you're gonna be targeting a little higher on your chest in the upper chest 
region and your feet are just on an elevated surface. As you do this, you notice I turn my head kind of to the side in order to maximize the distance that my chest can come to the ground. Uh, next up is curls, pretty self-explanatory. The only thing you need to know is from the side, your elbow should not move in place at all around that joint as you do the rotational movement. Um, if you move your elbow, then you're going to be using other muscles in your body and taking away from your bicep. Tricep extensions. Um, I'm doing these kneeling just so the camera picks it up better. You're going to take this weight, push it over the top of your head, and then bring it back. Uh, same thing with the bicep curl. You want to make sure that you keep that elbow in about the same place. All right, hammer curl here from the side. Um, same thing. Your wrist is just going to be in like a neutral position making sure again that that elbow is in about the same place every single time. Same thing from the front, it's just going to come straight up straight down. Alright, next up we have Russian twist. Here I'm using a weight, probably too much weight. Um, I can barely do this, but anyway, so you want to make sure that you touch the weight on both sides. Um, here I'm doing it with only my hands, but you touch the weight on both sides making sure you get that full rotation in your upper body. Ideally you keep your head a little bit more back than I am. Here we got some calf raises, pretty self-explanatory again. Um, you just want to make sure that you minimize the amount of time that your heel is on the ground so that you're not really resting. That's about it. All right, so here we go. A little bit more um, intricate Bulgarian split squats. So what you're going to do, take a chair, um, put your foot like I'm putting mine, and then you're going to kind of step out in front like this so that when you squat down, you can get that 90 degree bend in your front knee and it doesn't pass over the front of your toe. Um, should you hold weights or not, like obviously you should to increase intensity. Um, once you can get there, they don't necessarily need to touch the ground. You just want to make sure you get that 90 degree bend in that front leg and then you want that back leg to be um, kind of extended so that you can be as far away from your support as possible. That's gonna make it really hard. Also, something you may not have seen before, single leg <laughs> Romanian deadlift. So you have a dumbbell, you put it in the opposite leg I mean opposite hand as the leg you're using. Alternatively, you can have two weights in both hands. And then you're just gonna come down. On the way up, you wanna make sure that you're only using that hamstring on the supporting leg to pull yourself back up. So you're gonna notice there's very minimal bend in that leg, which is straight on the ground. The entire time, it's not really gonna move because you're not doing a squat. You're targeting that back hamstring. Okay, so tricep kickback. Um, you have your weight. You're not gonna be able to use too much weight on this one. Uh, but basically what you're going to do is extend your arm behind you until it's straight, holding at an angle. So you see my arm is already set up at an angle. So next up, bicycle crunches. You guys are probably familiar with this. Obviously the whole point of this though is to make sure you get that um, real rotation. So I like to touch my elbow to the opposite knee. Ideally my hands should be a little closer to my head so I'm not doing this perfectly. So tabletop crunch. <laughs> you guys are familiar with regular crunches. I like to do mine like this. Um, just because it's a little bit harder. So making sure there's that 90 degree bend at the knee knee joint and then also 90 degrees at the hip. And then as I come up to the top position, you'll notice that my legs, which are crossed, don't move toward me. So I'm only moving my torso up toward them by contracting my abs. And you notice my hands are not wrapped behind the back of my neck because I don't want to strain my neck. And then when I come down, not all the way to the ground to rest, but just so the back, like my shoulder blades touch the ground and come back up. This one bent over row. Normally do this on like a chair or something, but just for illustration purposes, I'm gonna do it on the ground just cause my camera's already here. So as you perform each rep, you wanna try to make sure that you keep that shoulder performing the rep in about the same spot. So you're gonna notice from the side view that my shoulder doesn't really shift up as I lift up the weight. Um, that's a pretty big, issue that a lot of people run into when they start doing this exercise and it's going to keep them targeting the right muscles and then could eventually lead to injury. So next up I have a nice dip with two chairs. Ideally the back chair that I'm using with my hands is going to be supported by a wall so it would be up against like a wall or a bed. If you want to add weight you can add weight either how I'm doing it with an extra dumbbell between my legs or you can add a plate on top of your um, thighs that also works too. As you come down, come down to get that 90 degree bend in the elbows and when you get to the top position, you want to make sure fully locks out in the top position, your tricep is completely locked out. Dumbbell chest fly. Ideally, I'd have a bench, but I don't have a bench. So I'm just going to lie on the ground and take both dumbbells. You're going to notice again with my elbows that they're not fully um, straight. I always leave some bend in there just to protect them. And I'm not going to come all the way down to the ground. I'm just going to come up a little bit less 
And then as you can see from this um, front view, I guess you could call it, really making sure to flex the chest muscles in that top position and then stretch them out on the way down. So nice, slow and controlled. Get that top position, come back down, flex the chest. Again, you might have heard this under a different name, maybe like reverse crunch. Um, I learned this as iron butterfly. The butterfly part, just because your arms are gonna be um, laid out as you do it. And so as you come up to the top position, you're gonna crunch up. Like kind of, don't like grab your knees and hold them. You just kind of want to touch it really briefly, come back down to the ground. Don't rest on the ground in the bottom position. Leg raise, you guys probably know how to do this. Some people are gonna struggle with like lifting their legs up too high to get to 90. And then once you get to 90, you start to minimize your efficiency and target your abs less. So only come up to about, what, I don't know, 45, 50 degrees. Back up, most people call it backups. So you're lying flat on the floor, come back up, kind of like you're doing your crunches, but reverse using the power of your back muscles, your legs and knees should come off the ground. Um, your arms should be as straight as possible. So lunges, a lot of people do lunges different ways. Um, the way I was always taught was to do them backwards so that you actually protect your knee joint as opposed to say like you're taking steps forward or you're walking a little bit more dangerous on that front knee joint. And then last exercise, a little bit more experimental. Uh, this is gonna substitute for the hamstring curl machines in the gym. But basically what you're gonna do, take a dumbbell, put it between your feet, lie flat on the ground like this, and then you're gonna bring it from the ground up and curl. You're gonna get a nice contraction in those hamstring muscles. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, hopefully some of this information was helpful and informative for you as you work out um, during quarantine without access to a gym or equipment. If this channel is helpful for you, you know, please like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, help it out and then just spread the message to other people, spread fitness and self-development. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.